Uh, Jalen, just your just your overall thoughts on uh, the scrimmage and um, how the defense performed today. Uh, scrimmage went really smooth and well. Um, defense came out with some juice today, and um, it showed on the field. We played really well. Um, D line was getting back there. Um, linebackers were plugging up the holes, and DBs were um, in the back end did really well. You know, offense. Uh, offense gave us a tough times too, though. You know, they had a couple of explosive plays here and there, but I feel like for the most part, we held our own, um, which is good for our first scrimmage, but definitely a lot to clean up. But as far as energy and enthusiasm and the stuff we brought, um, that's something that we can definitely take away from. So I'm proud of defense. Can you um, recall some of the, like, who had some of the explosive plays and then also on defense? I know there were a couple of balls on the ground and stuff, like any big plays on defense by specific players? Yeah, uh, defense-wise, um, Malik Chavis, he had an interception off a tip ball, so um, he was in good position for that. And then Buster came out the edge and had a great play, which forced a fumble, so that was good. And then um, offensive side, I know my brother, uh, Kendall Catalan, he had a touchdown today. Um, and then... Um, couple other plays I'm trying to think back uh just a couple other plays you know slants that were taken by different receivers um but other than that the only one I remember was my brothers and then the other times they really just kind of drove it down the field on Nixon here and they end up scoring but um I can only remember about two scores they had so um my brother I think Rocket Sanders had one but uh other than that though defense held their own did a good job you know offense has some good plays here and there too but overall I think both sides played a good scrimmage Dylan, I was going to ask you about your brother. We he's had a good camp so far, and Sam told us about the touchdown too. Just um, I know you know he's had it, but what have you seen out of him in this particular camp? Uh, uh, I just see maturity. Uh, I think he's grown so much, and I think he's just kind of been that guy. I just want to come in and do his job, and um, you know, it's my brother, so it's good to see him kind of you know get his time, you know, and kind of start getting that buzz that he deserves, you know, so. Um, hopefully he can protect into the season for sure. But um, he's done some great things for our team, and I'm proud of him. Uh, Sam said a three-man front just kind of fit y'all more last year, the personnel or whatever. But now he thinks y'all could go 50-50. What, what do you think about just maybe the multiplicity that you guys can show on defense? I think that's what makes our defense really good is that we're able to go four front or, or um, three front, you know, just kind of whatever we want to do. You know what I'm saying? I know coaches emphasize, you know, that we're going to do all these different things. So we got to be ready because we got to keep offenses off their toes. So, you know, we don't want to be here and just stick to one thing. We want to be very flexible. I think our defense has showed a good job of doing that. And um, D-line especially, you know, being able to do the different things up front and get back to the quarterback and linebackers being able to read the holes and plug them up. And on the back end, just the communication we have from one to another, not just the ones, the twos and threes are coming along as well too. And I've always said, you know, you're only as good as your backups. And I think they've done a great job as well. So overall, defense has done, been really solid throughout fall camp. And uh, we just got to keep it going. Sam said there are a lot of penalties today. Anything on defense in particular as far as the flags? A couple of holding calls, a couple of, you know, offside penalties that we can't have as a defense. But, I mean, as a first scrimmage, you know, you kind of want to get those out. I'd rather get those out now than to have them in a game where they're crucial. You know what I'm saying? Not saying a scrimmage is acceptable, but um, definitely, you know, they definitely learn from it. And I think we'll um, learn from all the mistakes that we had today and clean them up. And I think the fall camp going forward and the second scrimmage will be a lot more smoother. But um, besides the penalties and offside and holding calls, I guess I think the defense played really well today. Your younger guys in the secondary stand out to you today? Um, Jaden Johnson, he came down and had some really good hits today. And um, I don't even think, I mean, his classification, but I don't think he's that young. I think he's grown so much slusher. Miles Slusher keeps showing up. And Keywan Parker's also doing really good at nickel. Um, he's plugging, he's really coming along really well, understanding defense really well. And um, I mean, really, there's a lot of young guys I can mention that are doing well, but those guys are the ones that kind of catch my eye when I watch them. Jalen, you guys pretty much go ones versus ones, twos versus two the whole time. Uh, yeah, so we were first time, the first rack, we had the one O versus two D. And then the second rack, we had two D versus one O. And then it was threes on threes. And then after that, we started going one on ones, twos on twos, and threes on threes. So we kind of had a little mixture there. And then we did a lot of situational stuff towards the end, you know, third downs and two minute drill and stuff like that. So uh, I think Coach Pittman has a great, uh, you know, layout of how the scrimmage is going to be very organized, especially with the special teams and everything. So I think he has his idea of what the scrimmage should go like. And I mean, I love it, you know, because it pushes in every situation you can think of and it makes us, you know, 
it allows both offense and defense to kind of get out the calls they want to do and different things and different situations. So, um, so I think we handled it pretty well today. Probably not anybody puts eyes on the quarterback as much as, as safety as you guys. Um, what, what has been your thoughts on how KJ has played today and just overall, but specifically today and uh, any other quarterbacks that stand out to you today? Uh, KJ's doing a great job. You know, he's, he's, he keeps coming on, um, being a leader, keeps growing. And um, I think that he's um, the offense kind of rides around him. You know what I'm saying? I think the offense moves as KJ moves. And I think he's done a great job of realizing that. And, you know, just making plays and reading the right reads, you know what I'm saying? We definitely have to bring our A game because if we don't, then, I mean, it, I think Kay's going to show what he can do. So, but he's done a great job of this fall camp. And, um, you know, of course, he's had some receivers to throw to as well, you know. Um, of course, you all know about Burks, um, Jaquelin Crawford. He's coming along really well. My brother's been shining. Um, Keetron Jackson's another one that's coming along, too, along with Bryce Stevens, the speedster. So, uh, I think Trey Knox makes some plays here and there, too. So, and then the running back, Trey Smith, and the running back really well. So I think everybody in the offensive side is doing their job, and um, it's helping KJ out a lot more, you know. Did Sam was in here, and he was talking about Trey Williams getting to the quarterback, the defensive end. What have you seen from him? Not what today, but then also maybe in practice about his pass rushing ability. Yeah, I I seen his work ethic since he first got in here, and I can just tell that he was going to be a big key for our D lineman and for the defense. And of course he's my, he's my roommate. So um, it definitely helps out, you know, to kind of build that bond with him as well. But no, nah, he's a great, he's a great defensive player. And I mean, he just brings havoc to the, the quarterback. You know, they always got to be able to um, be, keeps him on his toes. You know what I'm saying? I can always see the ball coming out quick because he's always back there. And it doesn't just him, you know, the whole D line's done a great job. You know, you can go down from the interior to um, Markel to, um, Josh Stewart, and then you got um, DG also making plays, Eric Gregory, and I mean, it's just Zach Williams. You can name them all. The D line's done a phenomenal job and it's helped us out a lot. Uh, you know, as a defensive guy, I'm sure you want to see the defense do well. So if, when your brother like scores a touchdown, do you sort of silently cheer for him or do you cheer? For him and the other defensive guys, hey, they just got to deal with it. How do, how do you handle that? Uh, it was 50 50. Uh, when he first scored, you know, I kind of looked and I was like, dang. But then, you know, I kind of, you know, turned away, gave my little smirk. You know, I was like, happy for him. But uh, no, nah, I mean, we're a team at the end of the day. So, you know, the defense, you want to succeed. But at the end of the day, I always celebrate, especially for my blood and my brother. So when he does something good, you know, I'm always going to congratulate him. I'm always going to be there, be his, you know, number one fan, be there for him. You know what I'm saying? Because I know he would do the same for me. But, uh, I think we all try to celebrate both teams' success, you know, at the end of the day. You know what I'm saying? At the moment, it's different. But at the end of the day, we want to see everybody succeed and everybody, you know, have their, you know, sparks. So it's good to see that from everybody. Uh, John, your targeting calls last year, I, in my view, they're, you know, very debatable. But I wonder, you said it wasn't going to take away your aggressiveness at all. Have you, have you learned anything, what you can do in that last second before the contact to not get them? Uh, the one thing I've always lived by was never live with any regret. So the one regret I will have is if I don't give it my 100. So however I'm going, that's how I'm going to go. You know, um, at the end of the day, you know, I got to live with the decision. But, of course, my coach told me, you know, I got to be a little smarter. Understand, you know, different situations I can um, put myself in to not be there. I'm um, in that situation. I have to make that. But at the end of the day, it's football. You know, you got to play. You can't play 50-50. That's how people get hurt out there. That's how you hurt yourself. So you just got to go out and play and just can let everything else fall the way it's supposed to fall. You know what I'm saying? But I know for a fact that I'm not going to stop doing what I'm doing. You know, if I if I see an opportunity to go hit somebody, you know, that's what I'm going to do. And I'm going to live with the results at the end of the day. But, I mean, we do a great job of technique as well. So make sure we're tackling the right way, you know. But I can only do my part. You know, whatever happens after that, you know, I can't control that. Yeah, Devin Bush is a guy we've seen recently move up to the second team. Where has he maybe shown the most improvement since last year and years past to, to now? I would say his maturity. I think he's um, understood how vital he is to our back end, and he stepped up really well and made some plays here and there. And um, I could see him getting better each and every day. <clears throat> every day, you know, he likes to ask me questions, you know, what I need to do here, what I can do here, and, you know, 
not only play corner, but I mean, just to help him on just schemes and different things to look at, I can help him out with that. But he's always in there asking questions. He's always, you know, he is always, you know, wanting to get better each and every day. I think the coaches see that as well and respect that. So um, that's the name you need to watch out for, for sure, because he's definitely going to be a vital piece for us in our back end and our defense. Thank you. <clears throat> yes, sir. Thank you.